Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Today I need to make a few centerpieces for a banquet. Um, and let me give you a little bit of a background for this banquet. So, this is for our local pregnancy care center. And in the past, we've always done a very small centerpiece out of fresh flowers. But when I tell you small, their budget's $20 a table. So this year, I suggested that we make artificial centerpieces that they can rent. And that way, we get a nicer centerpiece um, for the same amount of money. So we're working on centerpieces for a banquet, and we're going to use all artificial blooms, um, and we're going to use these fun little luncheon plates, or I guess this would be a dessert plate. Um, I picked these up from the local Dollar Tree. Um, and they were just over in the cups and the plate section. I liked that this was kind of a creamy color because I think it makes a pretty arrangement. I'm going to use a very small piece of um, hard styrofoam and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take that foam and I'm dipping it right down in to my pan glue. I'm wiping off the excess and I'm going to take that foam and just press it right into the center of the plate. Now, the nice part about using these is that these can be reused for another occasion if we needed to rent another centerpiece. Um, this little plate cost me $1.25. So what I'm gonna do next, now I am not going to glue all the flowers in, and the reason is, is because I wanna be able to pull them out and use them in a different place. So I'm not gonna pull glue those all in. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna push my glue to the side. I'm gonna take a little bit of moss. So this is um, like a sheet moss, except it didn't come in sheet form. It's kind of messy. So I wet it and I'm just going to take it and wrap it right around that foam. I'm just taking it and pressing it right around that foam. And I'm just going to get kind of creative with this centerpiece. Now, all of them are gonna be different. I'm not worried about them mix, matching. I'm gonna mix and match everything. So we can just all take turns making different ones. We actually have 50 of these to make. So we have a good many. I'm gonna start out. So I got, let me tell you where I got all my flowers. So I went to um, Hobby Lobby and picked up some of my flowers, but some of them I picked up from Sheen. Um, like the tulips, I got those from Sheen. I got this beautiful um, stem of, it almost looks like little garden roses. Um, now this is a stem of daisies. This came from Hobby Lobby. That's a little um, floral bush that's almost greenery, like a filler bush, Hobby Lobby. A little bit of mixed greenery from Hobby Lobby. That's a mixed, little mixed stem from Sheen and then some peonies from Hobby Lobby. But I kind of mixed and matched. Um, and again, the wonderful part is, is that they're really just renting these arrangements and we're gonna get all of these flowers back so we could use them for another occasion. I'm gonna start out with this, um, this pretty stem. And I'm gonna take, again, we're just being creative with this. I'm gonna take my wire snips and I'm gonna cut it in two different pieces. And I am just going to press it right down into that foam. And then I'm going to take the second piece and I am going to cut it again. And I'm just pressing it right down into the foam. So just like that. Next, I'm going to come in with these cute, these pretty little tulips. So I'm going to cut that stem. The wonderful thing is with artificial blooms is you can always manipulate them a little bit to make them look a little, um, I would always say to manipulate them, try to make them look as real as possible. So I'm just taking that those stem cutters and cutting that stem at an angle and just pressing that right down into that foam. Good. 
All right, so there's our tulips and our um, little stem of roses. Next, we're gonna come in with a little bit of greenery. So I had, let's see if I can find it, this little stem of greenery. Again, I picked this up from Hobby Lobby. And so they were having a sale. So I went ahead and picked up several white stems um, from Hobby Lobby just because I thought, honestly, I got nervous about my flowers coming in from Sheen because they had not arrived and I was afraid that I might not have them in time. So there is a little touch of greenery. Now the theme is a garden party for this. Um, and so they have butterflies. They're using butterflies as their theme. And so they brought me all of these fun little butterflies. And I'm just going to take, now I'll do this when we arrive um, because I'm really not going to glue or anything to them, but I'm gonna take their butterflies and adjust their little wings and we're just gonna nestle their butterflies right into the arrangements. Now, what their goal is, their a butterfly is their, um, the butterfly is their logo. And so, for all of the babies, since they've been open, they have, um, our local pregnancy care center has saved over 400 babies. So there are going to be 400 of these little butterflies tucked into all the arrangements. But we're just gonna be creative and have fun. You can kind of see. I may tuck another little piece of greenery there. Again, all of these will be just rented arrangements. So we will be able to um, take them apart and rework them, but it's just kind of a fun little simple arrangement. And I thought I would do um, a couple more for you so you can see how different they will be. But I've already pre, um, pre glued these and added our little moss and so really we're just going in and we're being very creative this is that fun little bush of artificial so i'm just going to take it and i'm going to cut it into small pieces and i'm just going to take it and always be sure that you fluff it a little bit now if they come in and they are too wrinkled you can always take um a steamer and steam those blooms to make them look better. But always be sure to kind of fluff your flowers to make them not look quite so artificial. And I love those fun little berries. just we're just being creative and having fun with it we're not they don't have to ma match which is wonderful I love the fact that they don't have to match um, and they weren't picky they just wanted something pretty and sweet and they wanted the butterflies so that's all that mattered this is that little bush that I'm gonna just cut into smaller pieces and I'm gonna cut a, tuck a little here and there and then again, what we're gonna do is just add our butterflies throughout that arrangement. And then I'll take one more. This is another, just a little, a little filler. These are supposed to be a little ranunculus. Yeah, 
And then with each of these, I'll just take and tuck a few little butterflies right into each of the arrangements just to go with the theme. So very, very simple, very easy to do, and works beautifully with the theme of their banquet. I love the fact that um, she allowed me to use white because white's so clean and so easy. Um, and we can work with white for other other occasions too. So that, that was nice that, that we got to use the color white because we're able to reuse that. Guys, thank you so much for being here today. I hope this gives you an idea of how to make a budget stretch using um, faux flowers. Now, I know that there are some people who are completely opposed to artificial flowers, and that's completely okay. But when a budget call is a smaller budget and you want to give them um, so much more for their money, sometimes this is the best way to make that work. Guys, if you have any questions about how we do things here at the flower shop please don't hesitate to ask we'd love to answer any questions you might have um, you can drop that here in the comments or email us over at flowers by the bunch at yahoo we'd love to answer your questions if you have not already subscribed to our channel be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that little bell and it will give you it will um, give you notifications for when we have a new video guys have a great day we'll see you real soon Thank you.